today. You know, what? what's the star that you look up to today? Because mine would basically be Randy Orton. Hey, Randy Orton's cool. You know, I, I don't... Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's really tough. I mean, WWE's got so much going on right now. I'm not really crazy about the, uh, the PG stuff that they're doing and the, uh, the direction that they're going in. But, I mean, I, I'm not going to mm-hmm. lie and say that I don't watch it because I do. Um, in WWE, some of the guys that probably stick out the most, I would probably say Ziggler. You know, the guy's got ridiculous work ethic. You know, he's a, he's a great guy in the ring to, to see him bump and, and see how he works and j- just everything about his, his, uh, his demeanor and how he is in the ring. The guy knows where he is at all times in that ring. The guy's just phenomenal. Yeah, well, you look at who his father is, you know, come on. Yeah. You know, Cowboy Bob Orton, that's, you can't, he's a legend, you know, a phenomenal legend. Yeah. But, uh, go ahead, Sean. What are you looking at? He's you staring me at. Yeah. <laughs> he's staring me down like a, like I got sausages hanging from my ears or something. Oh, goodness. Oh, he's looking for your hamburgers. That's what he's doing. Yeah. I only had two, man. That's it. I shouldn't have I can go that. slice your deli meat. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> well, um. Wow. Well, I think he squared it away for us. Squared it all up. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um. Well, I, I hope that you get booked. I hope the uh, I hope the uh, NYWC is listening and, and they really do book you into a match. Yeah, because uh, something's got to be done. You got to get. Yeah. yeah. Something will be done. <clears throat> you know, sooner or later you're gonna start seeing. But I definitely guarantee you, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of uh of me come uh, the next coming next couple of months. So, you know, come to the shows, come check us out. Make sure you guys are there for the uh, the Psycho Circus this weekend. It's gonna be a ridiculous show. You know, not just the uh, the main event, but you know, from beginning to end, from the you know the Joker's Wild Battle Royal to the Masters of the Mat. You know, we got insane matches lined up. So definitely come down, check us out. It's definitely going to be a show that you're not going to want to miss. Yeah, nobody ever wants to miss a Psycho Circus. No, not Absolutely. at all. If you've been to one, you want to be to all of them. I'm going to this one because they're insane. Let me tell you, Psycho Circus is a place to be. NYWC Sportatorium. This Saturday night. What time? <coughs> do, what, what time? What time does it start? Well, if you got tickets, I, mean, I think they're doing a uh, we're doing a, a pre-show meet and greet from like five five thirty to uh to like six. Doors open at six. Uh, bell times at seven. So you know, get there early. Make sure you get a good seat. Don't leave your seat. Cause someone else is gonna take it. <laughs> so if you can't, well, actually, you can't carry them. Because they uh, strap them together, so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely try to get your tickets if you do not have them. NYWC, Absolutely. Psycho Circus yeah. Saturday. Victor Cruz has to be in it. So if you do have a link to the website or if you have their Facebook, tell them. Put Victor Cruz in a match now. Put Victor Cruz in a match. Bring down your, you know, anything that you guys want to bring down to the uh, to the show that you want us uh, to beat each other senseless with. Bring it down, old school ECW style. Whatever you want to bring, bring your props. The more the merrier. We're gonna spatulas enjoy. We're gonna have everything. a great match. Awesome. And, and yeah, you can bring your salami. hashtag Spatula City. Yep. And this one <laughs> could bring his salami. <laughs> um, <laughs> Victor Cruz, uh, I I hope to see you in a match. And uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Definitely. Thanks man. for having me, guys. Appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you in the Mohawk Nation at uh, at Psycho Circus. All you right, got it, guys. Thanks. We'll Have see you soon, man. See ya. Thanks. Oh. Wow. That was pretty cool. That was pretty intense. No other than uh, Victor Cruz. But as as we were throwing that interview down oh. and talking to Victor Cruz, uh, we got visited. Well, we got here. You we know got, what? We got visited. I. And and know. it's it's his first time in the studio, yeah, but he big loves dropping. He loves dropping bombs over the and, phone. And you, Octane, you were talking garbage, he, right? Oh. You were talking garbage. He well, lo- you know why? No, no, where did he come from? He loves dropping stuff over yeah. the phone. Who yep. let him in the building here? What? Oh, who let this man in here? This, this is this is Jerry Warner. Jerry oh, Warner. Oh, yeah. hey. You were talking hey. garbage. The man that wrote my garbage. contract for me. Okay, this man that wrote my contract. We're gonna let him. We're gonna. We're gonna yeah. just, we're just, just gonna just, let him go. 
Push over the mic to the man. Hey, how you guys doing tonight? Uh, thank you once again, Tommy and uh, Sean, for having me on. And, you know, Octane, we absolutely 100% did wipe our ass with that contract. But just for you, <laughs> that's, that's we wanted cool. a DNA print on that thing so it was official, man. Okay. As long as it's official, I'm out. And you know what else is official? I came here tonight to the live wrestling show to make one announcement, a very important announcement. You fans did it. You got us to 600 likes on Facebook. And the number 30, the last man in the snow bro. You have any oh, idea, Sean? Oh, boy. Who, huge name. Huge who's name. who's huge it, it going to be? It is the biggest name in SWA history. Absolutely not. I'm just kidding. Hulk number Hogan? No, this man, Kevin Nash? this man, he's got the grace Kurt, of Hulk Hogan. Kurt Angle. Really? Sting. No. The neck injuries of Kurt Angle. Whoa. Okay. Well, who is this? Well, it's got to be big. Shawn so right. Michaels? Yes, Shawn Michaels? This uh, man spends all day, every day, playing with meat. <laughs> when he's not playing with meat, he's greasing himself up and laying on the cars playing with meat. Oh, wow. Dying. Number 30, the last man in the snow, bro, it's going to be my friend over here, Octane. Octane is the last yeah, I, entrant. I thought you were going to say Diesel. I was waiting on a big man. Kevin Nash. Well, you know what? As far as his stomach uh, and waist size go, he is a big man. He wow. is a big name. Octane, okay? And this man right here, <laughs> Octane, love him or hate him, he has the best chance to win this Rumble. The best chance to be the number one contender and go on to fight for the Pride Championship. I got. I think he's got the biggest chance of being thrown out of the ring in 16 I seconds. I think so, too. Well, you want to put money on that? Thing what? Then? Uh-oh. All right. I got 100 bucks on the table. The Jim Steele throws you out. I do, too. I'll, right. I'll I'm double that. You. you know what? I, I'm running the thing. I'm running the thing, but I'll probably put $100 on that myself. Can you? Can... <laughs> but Octane is number 30, and we're going to see how this goes. I win the Rumble. I guarantee I win. I'll put another. I'll put five hundred on that one. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He doesn't. If I don't win the rumble, I gotta buy you dinner. The next show. Dinner. Dinner is dinner. not a cold cut platter from Stop no, and Shop. No, no. I want. I want. I want. I want, I want, I want a nice surf and turf. You're making me feel like I should set up some kind of betting website for this. <laughs> How fast will Octane go over that top rope, man? I think you should. I'm gonna win it all. I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> You'll be the only person betting on Octane, and everybody else will make a hell of a lot of money. I guarantee you're gonna yeah, get a you'll lot be of votes broke, Octane. You're going to get a lot of votes. You'll be broke as anything, though, bro. You'll what? eat a lot of dinners and a lot of cash. Chilling out over those cold <laughs> cuts. Whatever will stop and shop thinking you. <laughs> but tonight, guys, it was Octane. And next week, if you guys will have me once again, I will be here to announce a huge name, a huge participant wait, for the wait, Snow Brawl Rumble. Is it going to be bigger than Octane? Is it? Not in well, not in physical mass, you no. You don't have far to go, but is it going to be is bigger it? than oh, Octane? You're bigger than me. Look at you, you fat. Uh, I okay, am not he's, a wrestler. He's a sausage king. <laughs> in wrestling, everybody likes uh, hyperbole. Everybody likes bold, bold statements. So I will make this. The entrant I announce next week on the Heel and Face Live Wrestling Show has the greatest chance to win the snow brawl just based on his physical capabilities. This man will change the snow brawl single-handedly with his entrance. So be here, was it Wednesday at 7.30? Yeah. Be here next week to find out the man that will change the shape of the Snow Brawl Rumble. Well, we know it's not Bobby Dream or Fish Topic and Nush. We know oh, we know I, I think I know, but I'm going to keep it in my head. All right, hat. guys. Um, I'm all psyched. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Uh, me too. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> all right. That's Talk always a pleasure. Octane, baby. Going to oh. win it all. Well, Put your right. money on it. Put your money on it. <clears throat> I'll bring a tray of deli meat if you win all the Yo, Go play with your monkeys, okay? Go leave. <laughs> Oh, my God. I, well, that was Jerry Warner turned around and told us straight out that you're number 30. I'm the what, best what's man. What's that? The number one. How's that feel? Hey, best odds of winning. I would have started number one. I really wanted to. But he, he said You'd be dancing in the ring by yourself you, for a few you, minutes, man. I would be. I'd be throwing you, each guy over out of time. They if you entered at number one, you'd be choked out by number 15. You'd be out of gas. Did you say 15? 15. How much credit? I'm I'm much credit. How much credit? Yeah. Huh? I'll generous, give him credit of like number five. I'm just going to go in there and just throw, throw people out <laughs> left and right. Man. Oh, who's this other guy that just walked in this place here? What? No. What nah, in the world? Nah. He's just looking at us I like he's a he's a, uh, like a mime or something. I, I think you have old people. What do you think you are, man? <laughs> who is this guy? I don't know, but oh, to me it looks like oh, beautiful Bobby Dream. I know who this guy is. The guy that lost the boondocks. ECPW's own beautiful Bobby Dream, man. Also, ladies and gentlemen, the low point, the low point of my life occurred 
Saturday, February the 16th at 78 McGraw Street in Shirley, New York. Somehow, lightning struck. It struck you in the ass, brother. It struck. <laughs> it's embarrassing. It was the <laughs> most embarrassing moment of my life, possibly my career. The lowest wrestle out of everybody. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. Because Beautiful Bobby Dream is going to do what Beautiful Bobby Dream does best. He's going to take what he can take from it, and he's going to move right on up and move forward. And the next person that gets in the ring with Beautiful Bobby Dream. Just say it to Jefferson's, man. I didn't say the east side. <laughs> the next person getting in the ring of Beautiful Bob Dream is going to get an ass whooping. And the next time Beautiful Bob Dream is scheduled to be in the ring, it's March 23rd, NYWC Sportatorium, Deer Park, New York. Get your tickets now. SWA Snow Brawl. Beautiful Bobby Dream will be in the Snow Brawl. And Beautiful Bobby Dream doesn't care what number Octane is. Beautiful Bobby Dream doesn't give a crap about any person that's going to be announced to be in the Snowball Rumble. Because the fact of the matter remains that the person that's going to win the Snowball Rumble has already been announced. That person is beautiful Bobby Dream. And ladies and gentlemen, if you do not buy a ticket and get your ass to SWA Snowball, March 23rd, Saturday, 8 p.m., NYWC Sportatorium, Deer Park, New York, then you must be brain dead. Get your tickets now, SWA Wrestling. Let's go. Hey, yeah, you can watch Bobby Dream get thrown over the top rope. Into well, the you heard, rope. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Dream, you know, announcing his place. You know what? You know what? I'd like to take. I'd like to take a moment now. I'd like to announce. I'd like to an, actually. I, I, I'd like to bring a friend of mine, Pop Kanush. Oh, I'd like to bring Pop Kanush over to the microphone. Pop Kanush, for whatever reason, just like my manager Saturday. Angel was not permitted to accompany me down to ringside. My insurance policy, Papa Kanush was not, was not permitted to accompany to ringside. And my ring valet, a smoking hot broad I had in the back, was also not allowed to accompany to ringside. Well, I don't want to tell you what Papa Kanush <coughs> was doing with that valet in the back. <laughs> Papa Kanush, you know what? They had him sitting in the crowd. They had him sitting in the crowd. It was a disgrace. He couldn't watch my back. And I was crap fall down, and it, it was no good. But he was regardless, watching your valet's back in the back. Regardless, regardless, <laughs> trust me. He he has my permission. Regardless, regardless, regardless. Pop Kanush, let's talk about your picks. Let's go match by match over your picks and over, over what actually happened. Let's see how well you did. Oh, you're definitely wrong about you winning. First of all, you're wrong for even being here, and they're wrong for not even letting me accompany beautiful Bobby Dream to the ring. You were too busy with his valet in the back. We all know the truth. Hey, keep that on the rep. <laughs> all right, match number one. Well, first of all, I have to give uh, Dickie Rod some credit for getting out of the match with SJR, and he's like a god to me now. But like I said, Mark Static won. He didn't have the... Well, he had Angel Lopez. He still didn't want to be Papa Canoosh, but like I said, he won. I guess Robbie Rubble didn't need his green, green eggs and hams that day, Lamar Porter Steakhouse, whatever. Like I said, he won. And then Joe Sloan and Johnny Over, they won too, like I said. Jay Wicked proved that he was from the Insane Asylum when he turned on Juggalo Dan. The Schizophrenic, he's still a schizo, but he had a better opponent with Dickie Rods. I uh, seen the action. Uh, do better next time there, champ. But anyway, the WWE Hall of Famer, the Hammer, like I said, he would win because he's the Hammer and he gave them a Valentine's Day present. And Alex Vendetta... He really needs to have a vendetta now because he had to face SJR. Anyone who faces mm -hmm. SJR needs to yeah, have a vendetta. Definitely, man. But definitely. he should have released that vendetta on the whoever it was who accomplished him to the ring. But anyway, he probably didn't because he's not Papa Ganoush. Nope. nope. That's it. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Now, Papa Ganoush, I got a question for you, man. I got a quick question. For you. Uh, what do you want? Two SW plus two, it's four. SWA Snow Brawl. Question for you. If you're in the Battle Royal, you're in the. I am in the Battle Royal. Okay. And you're in the ring one on one. It comes down to you and Bobby Dream. What are you going to do? I want to know the answer to this one. What am I going to do? Are you going to lay down and let the man win, or are you going to throw his ass out and become the more Smack him with a salami sandwich. We're going to throw him over. <laughs> Papa Kanush, that was the exact answer that I wanted to hear. I don't want losers in my camp. I want people that want to win. 
And if Papa Canoosh thinks that he can take beautiful Bobby Dream and throw him over the top rope, then Papa Canoosh should try, because he's absolutely right. It's every man for himself in the Snow Brawl Rumble. I'm not a moron.